Hi, everyone. I'm Albert Whale, CEO of IT Security Solutions. I'm here today with Kevin Harding. Hi, Albert. How's it going? It's going great. Kevin's the CEO of Hands of Support, a DC Metro MSP. Kevin, when we last talked, we were talking about the is issues that were observed in your network. I have the screen today showing its safe information about what activities we found. They include a network trojan that we observed three times in a day, uh, as well as potential corporate privacy violation, that means like data exfiltration, and attempted user privilege game. What does that sound like to you? Sounds like attackers, Albert. Yeah, that's what I'd have to say. I totally agree with you. And what we saw inside the network as far as signatures um, is an arm's length of different activities, including stun and other binding requests, as well as issues with DNS to unprivileged organizations, unprivileged IP addresses, rather. Um, what we saw also under the HTTP methods, which is really important, was the get and post. These are normal, okay? Every browser does these, and users do this to get information or put things on Facebook. Does that make sense? Yes. Anything else, the, the, the put command as well as the head command, those are activities that people that know more about communications can adopt and be able to um, change the environment. The head says what's available, is the server up and running, and um, what activities do you support? The put says let me change some files and information. So in addition, we see different browsers that we look at, as well as um, cities. We can actually see how much activity is going on in a given period of time, as well as the country map. Now, when we first got here, the country map is probably not as huge as what we've seen in other locations. The fact of the matter remains that more than the United States is on the list right now, and we've blocked all those countries from communicating with your environment using the demo box for it's safe. And I say that it's the demo box because this is the box that we use to show organizations, but we've blocked all that. And if I went to show activity that happened in the last hour, you see that the Trojans went away and so did a lot of other signatures. Now that being said, can you tell me how this has benefited you and your, your business today? So it's benefited me by staying in business and it's also benefited me um, by raising my awareness of activity on the network that I had no idea that was present. Right. Nobody normally looks for this activity um, because they don't have the tools to do that, right? That's right. So, I mean, the virus scanner and the firewall didn't block this, didn't stop this, and didn't detect it or tell you that it was happening, correct? That's right. So I agree. It kept you in business. It eliminated hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines for, you know, not being able to identify this traffic. And it also didn't require... Uh, a high-priced cybersecurity expert to be on staff 24 by 7, correct? That's right. Or three shifts a day. That would, that would mean three cybersecurity professionals because this device runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it works for electricity. <laughs> so that's our um, promotion for It's Safe. The dashboard's easy to understand, and we help all of our clients understand the activities that are going on, as well as how did we identify what's happening and how to make their organization safer. So, Kevin, what would you say about It's Safe? Is this a, a recommended thumbs up or a thumbs down? Absolutely. Um... It's definitely a recommended thumbs up. I highly recommend It's Safe 
to reveal the connections and give awareness to activity that most people are not looking at. So when you say awareness, that's just for the demo box, but in production, we eliminate these problems, right? That's right, by stopping the connections. Right, we stop all the connections that are maliciously aligned and keep your organization safe so that you can do business. If you're focusing on your business on a day-to-day -day basis, how do you sleep at night? That's right. You sleep much better, right? Absolutely. Um, um, you can spend your time focusing on the infrastructure, focusing on things working or things not working. Um, and even if they are working, um, not having the peace of mind gives you a disadvantage because you're always thinking about is my data protected and what data am I losing right now? Right. You, you, you don't want to have a distracted day and exactly. it puts the distractions away. That's so right. Kevin, I agree. I appreciate your time again and we'll check back with you one more time uh, to complete our segment with problem solve with Kevin Harding, CEO of Hands of Support, a Washington DC Metro MSP. Contact Kevin and get your local copy of It's Safe today. Don't delay. Thank you, Albert. Thank you.